Here at Auto Express, we pride ourselves on going that extra mile to find Britain's best roads. But over the next couple of days, we're going to take it a step further. We're off in search of the UK's hardest roads to reach. And we're going to need a pretty serious piece of kit to pull this off. Luckily, Jeep has agreed to loan us this, the Wrangler Unlimited. First stop, we're off to the West Highlands of Scotland to drive the highest mountain pass in the UK. It's a winding road known as the Bialach Nabar, which rises an amazing 626 metres from sea level in the space of just five miles. The first thing you notice is just how tight and twisty this road is. It's not the sort of place you want to meet something big and fast coming in the opposite direction. And the whole road is littered with these acute hairpin bends. It makes the whole experience feel more like driving an alpine pass than a Scottish mountain road. It really is a stunning feat of engineering, especially when you consider it was built way back in 1882 and it wasn't tarmacked until the late 50s. Made it to the top in one piece, just about, but unfortunately the visibility isn't great. I'm reliably informed that on a good day, which you don't get many of around here, you can see the whole of Scotland over there and the Isle of Skye down there. There's no time to enjoy the view. We've got another hardest road to reach, this time in Scunthorpe, and we're going underground. This is Dragonby Mine in Scunthorpe, the deepest iron ore pit in the UK that you can drive a vehicle straight into. And we've got permission to do just that. So, along with our expert safety team, it's time to head for the bottom. Right, this is it. We're actually down in the cave driving the cars. And it's this fantastic labyrinth of these rocky tunnels, seemingly endless. The best way I could describe it is a cross between a set from Tomb Raider and the Batcave. It's completely unlike anything I've ever driven. We couldn't have driven two more different roads in the last two days. We've been up a mountain, down a mine, but unfortunately the adventure's come to an end. There's only one thing left. Does anyone remember the way out? <laughs>